Hi everyone. I wanted to do another packing video. Um, I uploaded one yesterday for a quick trip out with my, my son and my daughter to mommy and me in preschool. Um, but I had mentioned that I was packing for a flight um, for me alone with my two kids. Um, my husband is meeting us on the other end with the dog in the car. So he has all of our clothes. Um, I just had to pack a few things that we would need to get there uh, and in case we had like a delay or something. So this is packed for me and my two kids. Uh, we're taking a two and a half hour flight and I feel like I have a ton of stuff um, but it all fit quite nicely in my Jujube uh, Be Right Back in Queen of the Nile and my Jujube Super B in Space Place. And my daughter also has like a Skip Hop backpack there that has a tether. So I'll just go ahead and um, go through everything and let me know if you think it looks like a lot or if you think it's just enough. I kind of tried to pare it down as much as I could. So here we go. Okay, so in the first bag, um, this is just my daughter's skip hop um, backpack and it has like a chest clip and a tether. Uh, we're not gonna bring a stroller through the airport. I have some um, family coming. They're not sitting with me, but they'll be helping me get through security and stuff. And I'll be wearing my son in Ergo. So I just thought that this would be good for her. Um, all that's in here is some sticker pads. Uh, if I can get it open for you. So in here she has a book um, and some of those princesses that have the snap-on dresses. You can change the dresses. There's four of those in there. And she has a notebook some crayons and some sticker pages. Um, she really is loving the Wizard of Oz these days. So this all fits in here. There's plenty of room um, for more, but she's gonna wear it on her back. So she's little, it seems like a lot. And I've learned after previous flights with her that I, I can pack a ton of stuff and she's not gonna lose hardly any of it because she also has an iPad and that's all she cares about. So first I will do the backpack. Um, this is the Be Right Back in Queen of the Nile, like I said. And uh, it has a front flat pocket, a mommy pocket, a tech pocket, the main pocket, two bottle pockets, a secret pocket, and then the back change pad. So I will start from the front. Um, this is not how I would typically have it packed for a daily use, but I just put things in here uh, for convenience and ease of grabbing at the airport. So um, I have a small set piece in, from the, I believe it's the heiress set. It comes with like the Duchess and the Imperial Princess together. And in here I have a charging cable, um, a charging block and my headphones for my iPhone, which I'm using to film, uh, but I have an iPhone 7. And that will go in this pocket right here. Um, so that's all that I had in this flap, I believe. Oh, I have some trash little trash bags, because you never know. Um, in the mommy pocket, I have a clipped to the leash, or the key leash, I have my son's pacifier and it's got a little cap on it. And then I have all of our liquids. Uh, my daughter has a prescription. We have diaper cream, hand sanitizer, some uh, eucalyptus oil for coughing, medicine, those kind of things that I can take through. That's all I have in there. Um, in this bottle pocket, I have a sip by Swell from Target. This is empty, but um, I'll fill it with water. I'm probably going to be filling it with warm water from a Starbucks or something for my son's bottle. We have a 7 a.m. flight, and his bottle, his first bottle of the day is at 7 a.m., so um, I'm hoping to have that with warm water to add formula to once we get on the plane. So I have an empty bottle on that side pocket. And in the change pad pocket, I have our boarding passes, there's two, and some of those um, placemats, so I can put that on the tray table, because I'll, be, I'll also be feeding them breakfast on the flight. Uh, in the secret pocket, I really liked how I have this one done for the flight. I have my Beast Bendy in Duchess in there, and then I also have a Kindle Paperwhite in there and it fits perfectly with plenty of room to spare um, and I don't have to worry about it getting uh, bonked or anything like that. It's in a good spot as long as I have the 
the screen facing toward me. So I really liked how that fit in there. And then in the main pocket, let's see what I've got. So I'm gonna open it just like this. In the mesh part here, I just have the long strap to um, the Aeris set, and I put that on my Beast Bendy, and I, if I just need to go with that, um, just in case I have an eight ounce serving of formula and a four ounce serving of formula. So uh, in an Inno Baby, I only have the two tower. I have a large set piece from the Era set, but this is Imperial Princess, I believe. Um, and this is for my daughter. In here, I have a chain, one change of clothes, a pull up just in case, some toilet seat covers, and some Cottonelle wipes, plus, um, yeah, that's it in there. So just in case she has an accident, because we're going to try to do this without a pull-up on the plane. She's really good about telling us when she has to go, so that's a plus. Um, I have my Be Quick and Monarch, and in here I have four, size four diapers, um, some Honest Wipes that are left over in the pack, a onesie and a pair of pants for my son, a disposable change pad, and normally I would have the diaper cream on top, but I put it in the clear plastic bag, just in case. In the back here, I have my med kit. Um, it's pretty standard. There's Band-Aids, nail clippers, uh, Neosporin, Spiffy wipes, some lollipops, lotion, and uh, wet ones. And then I have a medium set piece from my era set. This is the Duchess print though, and it's all the things that I could potentially need throughout my whole trip and on the flight. Um, I have body cl like cleansing cloths, a tie to go pen, cough drops, perfume, lip gloss, a brush, hair accessories, flossers, uh, Tylenol and Advil. And then I have blotting wipes and I also have Tum or Pepto Bismol and Gasex. I tend to get upset stomachs a lot, so I always have that with me by a lot. And that was everything I had on the inside of this bag. I tried not to um, put a ton in here. I didn't want it to be too full because I'll be wearing my son in the Ergo and then I'll have to carry that Super B, so I just wanted it to be manageable. I do have a bag in the refrigerator. It's a small little cooler, and it has um, a yogurt for each child, um, a breakfast pouch for my son. He's almost 13 months old, and um, some blueberries. So I'll just probably stick that right in here, too, once we go through security. I kept that separate because they will probably have to test the pouches and things once we go through. So that's all of this in the B right back. And then the Super B, which I just got specifically for this trip. I never had one before, so I'm kind of still experimenting with how I like to pack it. But so far, I like it. Um, you, if you know this bag, it has three outside pockets, two full bottle pockets, and then a half pocket. And then on the back, there's a large pocket that snaps. And on the inside, there's two mesh pockets and a zippered pocket in addition to the main compartment. So I'm going to start with the front. Um, and in the zippered pocket here, I have um, some Clorox to go wipes and some pacifier wipes. I figured they're kind of easy. And since my daughter has a tiny backpack, we can put one in front of each seat. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, stuff getting in the way. And then I have an empty water bottle for her. And then in this pocket, I don't have a messenger strap from Jujubee, but I do have a stork sack one. So just in case it gets to be too much, um, I brought this. I haven't really tried it with this bag, but it seems to be just fine. And it's their swivel clips. So, And they also have built-in stroller straps. I'm not bringing a stroller, but there is one at our destination, so in case I need a stroller strap. In the back pocket, I have um, our reusable change pad. This is from Ikea, and it's huge. But my son, he's 13 months old, and he's big, so the Jujube one just doesn't work for him anymore. 
um, I mean, it makes it so it's nice and soft for his head, but it's not really effective at, you know, keeping him from touching stuff. I p don't plan on using this on the airplane or at the airport, but I want it for when we're there. I could always spread it out on the floor if we have time, so they can use it as a blanket. And then I also have an Itsy Ritzy wet bag. This is, I think, a medium, um, in case my daughter does have an accident, which, fingers crossed, she will not. But you never know with a three-year-old. And then in the main compartment, this is where I felt like I could have used more, but who knows. So I'll just fold this over. I have an Aiden and a Nay swaddle blanket, um, just to have a light blanket on the plane. Uh, I have a medium set piece, and in here I have some toys for my son. Um, he loves shakers. I have one of those little people zebras. He has one of those VTech sets with the noisy cars, so I brought that, and his little phone and a teething ring. And this is in um, Queen of the Nile. I have my daughter's iPad and um, headphones, and these are kind of bulky, so I, that's why I didn't put them in the, the change pad pocket, just because this case is really thick and it kind of gets stuck. So I have that in there. And then I have these two Melissa and Doug um, entertainment things. This one she was kind of excited about. Who knows if we'll actually use it, but she can color her own stickers, and it's those mess-free markers. And then these are amazing. Um, they're you fill this with water and they can color on the pages and um, the color and picture behind shows up. I mean, this is the fourth one I've purchased. I just actually got rid of the original three we had because they had been used for years. So these last a long time if you, if you empty this and take care of it in between you. So I can't recommend this water well enough for entertaining and it's actually good for my 13 month old too he still he likes to swipe it along so we'll see how those work out um, attached to the key leash I have a small set piece in Queen of the Nile and in here I have a coin purse this was a gift card from Lululemon and the coin I have coins in there I have a be charged in space place with all of our extra cards and I actually have some Altoids in there um, I don't need these things very often, so just in case they are here and they are attached. I have an extra full pack of Honest Company wipes, and, in the, and that was in the mesh pocket. And in the other mesh pocket, I have um, two extra diapers, a pull-up, and two extra disposable change pads, and I kind of use these a couple times before I throw them away. Um, so I have those things. And then in the zippered pocket, I have my sunglasses. Um, just stick them in there because I'll need them at the other end. And then lastly, I have a fuel cell. And in the fuel cell, which is in Space Place, which I love, um, I'm not like I'm not a big fan of the cartoon type prints, but this one I really liked. I don't know why. I don't know a thing about print placement or anything, but um, I don't know. It's just cute. And it's not, I don't think it's too girly or too boyish, purple and black, so I like it. But in my fuel cell, I have a spoon and a bib for my son and an empty water cup for him. I have some wet ones because I can't have enough of those. Let's see. I have some dry multigrain Cheerios. I have some Mum Mums. And we have these... Um, Earth's Best Sunny Day cereal bars. They're kind of like Nutri-Grain bars, but they're like the perfect size for a, a toddler. They're just little, and he loves them. And my daughter actually likes them too. I have um, Happy Baby Organic Greek Yogis in the strawberry banana flavor. These things are like gold in our house. I have um, some mini M&Ms. These were in a Christmas stocking. Good bribery. And then I also have lollipops and fruit snacks. And the lollipops I give to my daughter for takeoff and landing. I give her one at the beginning and one at the end to help with her ears. It's probably not the best, but um, they're the, what are they, the yum, yummy earth or whatever. They're organic lollipops. I don't know if that makes any difference to a dentist. But that all fit in here with plenty of room to spare. 
and I kind of put, yeah, I put the water on top just because it was, um, or the water cup on top. These mum mums, I need to figure out a way to keep them from breaking because they're always in pieces by the time I give it to him. Sorry, well, I put this all back in here. And I like the fuel cell because it looks like it's too full to zip, but it's perfect. So if you have uh, any suggestions on how I can pack this better, um, let me know. I don't think it's that bad. It is a little full, uh, but to be honest, this is, I would have tried to have crammed way more into my backpack if I didn't have this uh, Super V. And I, the last time I traveled, um, I used a bee light and I, I put the fuel cell in the bee light, but then I couldn't put much else in with it. And I figure with the super bee, I can put their coats on top. Um, once we get through security or through the, into the airport, cause they're not going to need those. I'll put, cause they're just light fleece jackets. I'll put those on top and I can actually fit this in here if I have to, and it does zip shut. So um, it's not like too bad. And I can fit the ergo in there too if I take out other stuff. So yeah, that's what I've got for a carry-on for me and two kids. Um, if it feels like a ton, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, bye.